Okay, hello, this is Dr. James, and today I'm going to show you how to install this cool light switch on your e-bike. Let's get started. Okay, it looks like it has finally arrived. Now, let's see what's in here. Be careful not to cut yourself with the razor blade. And there we go. This is going to be our bike light switch. I already did one bike light, but I did not put the switch on it. And uh, it's kind of annoying. I made it so I can unplug the light because you need to unplug it while it's charging. You can't have it just hardwired to the battery because it will light up when the battery is on. Okay. So, uh, what is this? Oh, that's okay. Key ring. Looks like it comes with a key ring. And. What do we got here? Looks like an on off switch. Oh, it has blinkers too. I could put blinkers on the bike. Maybe I'll hook this stuff up later in a horn. <clears throat> I'm just going to hook up the light though. Because. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I just got a light right now. I wonder if I got to take off. Um... That's interesting. I might have to take off the uh, handle grip to get this thing on there. It looks like this is a single piece of plastic. So that may be a chore. <clears throat> We'll see. Okay. And uh, let's try to fit this and put our light on there and see how that works. Okay, it looks like it has finally arrived. And let's take a look and see what this thing is. I suspect it's the light I've been waiting for, but who knows. LED. Oh, there we go, our new light for our bike. I like the other one so much, I figured I would repeat it on my new conversion. Pretty soon I'll get this whole process down to a T. Okay, and I did another video on this one, showed how it worked after dark and stuff. And Drove through some interesting forest with some streams and bridges and all sorts of other stuff. Kind of a cool video, I think. Anyway, let's see if we can put these things together and get it on the bike and get it operating. I tell you, it was a case, once I got the wires in on the first bike that I did into that bag, that bag was about ready to explode. I didn't want to take it back out to rewire some lights in, so I made a special plug. These are Anderson connectors. The uh, battery comes with Anderson connectors on it. And so I made a special plug that kind of plugs in between uh, where it goes into the motor controller and where it comes out of the battery. So this just goes in between. So it's like a double plug. And then I can siphon power off of that. And I, I did this for the other bike. And uh, it seemed to work okay. I mean, I guess if I would have thought ahead and just wired everything initially, probably would have been good. But Took me a long time to figure out what these things were. I had to search all over the internet because they're kind of antiquated, but the battery comes with these connectors, so I figured I'd keep these because if you ever need to replace the battery, then you'll probably come with another set of these on it. So these are called Anderson connectors, and I wired them up myself. It looks like that pin's a little bit bent. Uh, let's tr try this out and see if we can get this thing working. Okay, so here we go. I think what I'll do probably is just maybe slide off this handlebar connector and put it right here so you can just have easy access with your thumb. 
And uh, that might be a good place for this switch here. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, again, you just kind of push like that, and it starts to slide off. Okay, let's keep on working it down. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, so with the handle grip off there, it should be fairly easy to slide this guy on there. Okay, and it has an Allen wrench uh, socket on the back of it. Okay, right. Oops. Right there. So we need to get an Allen wrench. We'll tighten that up. And maybe I will put a matching hand grip on that side. Since I got that one off, we'll see how that looks. Okay. okay, let's take a look here. So here we got our Allen wrench. Yes. Right here. And just try to tighten this guy up. Get it tightened up on there. Okay. And that should hold her in place. And I'll try to find that matching grip and so we can make this thing look nice. Very cool, huh? There we go. Okay. okay. And there's where the light. Well, that's the horn, which I don't have. And there's the light. Okay. Okay, so here is our matching handle grip. I'll just get that thing on there. Let's see. Oh, come on. Almost there. Okay. Let me fiddle with it a little bit. Okay. okay, there we go. It's looking pretty good, huh? Okay, now I just need to get the wires wired up and put the light, probably put it up on the handlebars. I was thinking about maybe putting it down there, but uh, it's really got a mount for up here, so I'll probably stick it up here. I think it's more convenient if it's up high also. Okay. And of course you want to try to hold these cables in place and I have these interesting type of zip ties. You can use regular zip ties too, but these are like Velcro zip tie type things. That uh they look super cheap but they seem to be pretty good so far. If I peel these away they're all stuck together. See if I can peel one of these away. We can take a look at it. So it's like Velcro on both sides. And then you can just loop this guy through itself and then stick it to itself and let's uh use this to tie our cable up in place here i have to put the camera down but i'll just wrap this guy around so we can hold this cable up here i'm just going to feed it down to the power supply down here and i'm going to figure out which wire is the hot wire that hooks to that switch and uh then we'll get it hooked up okay Okay, so see I loop that thing through itself, and then you can kind of let's go over here, grab onto the end of it, and pull it so you can tighten it up. Okay, let's see. Come on. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, gotta make sure it's not stuck to itself. Okay, there we go. Get it tightened up, and you can fold it back down on itself, and it will just stick to itself and wrap it around. Like, let's see if we can get this tight like so. Okay. Oh, come on, it's sticking to itself. Okay. I get it on itself and wrap it down around itself. Like so. Okay. And it should hold the cable in place. Let me fiddle with it a little bit more. Okay, I actually decided to put it on this side because gravity was just 
pulling the cable down and pulling the connector down that way, the tie wrap. And so when I put it on that side, it doesn't seem to have that problem. And uh, so I got it fed from our switch over into the center of the bike. Let's take a look here a little bit. And I'll feed it down here. And probably, I'm gonna bring it even through this cable tie right here, back to the power supply right there. Okay. And then we'll be set to hook her up. And of course, you know, you wanna, here, I got the light. Uh, mount it up here, and there's two wires, a red and a black one, and I'm going to string those down to this, this uh, intersection here because, remember, you want to hook up the battery power so it goes through the switch, comes back, goes through the light, and then comes back to ground. You don't want to hook the switch up so it just shorts out the battery and blows out your switch because that is what will happen, All right? You don't want to... You don't want to do that. That will put a lot of current through that switch. And it's not going to be too happy about that. Make sure you got the polarity correct also. Let me, okay. I'm going to try to figure out which wires actually hook to the uh, the light switch here. Because we got a whole bunch of wires here. I'm going to get my voltmeter. And some of them are the same color. Two white ones, two blue ones, a yellow one, and a red one. How annoying. Okay, well, we'll see what which ones are which. Okay, so it looks like I have found the right combination. So I have my voltmeter hooked on ohms, so it rings. And uh, I have uh, two clip leads hooked up to the blue wires. The two blue wires, and I'll hit the, whole, the light button. When I do that, it shorts out the circuit. So definitely, it takes a second for the thing to respond, but uh, okay, Let's see if we can get that all in frame, Let's see, I'll turn it back off, okay, so the two blue wires are the light switch, okay, so just keep that in mind, okay, let's take a look here, so I uh, hooked up, well, it's hard to tell because I made the, both the wires black, but uh, this is the positive coming off the battery here to the positive of the light. So it goes up to the light and then it comes back down out the negative of the light. And then I'm going to go into the switch. I'm just going to go over here, the switch, the blue wire, back out the blue wire and connect the blue wire to the ground. And I have my soldering iron ready, so I'm just going to get my solder out some solder and my soldering iron. I'll just solder all of these together and then I'll tape them up so they don't short out and we'll test her out to see if make sure it works. Okay. Okay, so let me uh, just okay, so let me just double check this. One thing I learned in electrical class is you always double and triple check your wiring before you plug it in and so make sure this is see there's a positive contact there and it comes up here to the positive contact on the light I'm pretty sure you don't want to wire that backwards you might blow out the light okay the negative goes to our switch and the blue wire continues down to the ground of the battery, which is goes to this black one over here. Okay, so let's be adventurous and we'll try turning the power on. Okay, so that light came on, so that means the motor's energized, but our light on the front isn't on. Okay, and let's try hitting the switch. Look at that. The light goes on and off when we hit the switch. Very cool, huh? So I think I think we're all set to just tape all these things up so they don't short together and uh, give her a test ride. See how it works. Very cool, huh? Okay, so there we go. I've got it all taped up. 
so that it doesn't short out and the light is still working. Oh, I'm gonna turn that switch on. Okay. The light is still working. On, off. Very cool, huh? Okay, so I think we're all set to go. And I, I taped up these wires because I'm not using them, but I can always untape them if I want to put turn signals or a horn or something like that because this has a bunch of other switches on it. And uh, so we could untape those and uh, access those uh, functionality as well. Very cool, huh?